Congruence. Congruence is a word that means that two things are exactly the same shape and size. In this video, we will talk more specifically about congruence relating to triangles. So when we are talking about triangles, we need to know that two congruent triangles are exactly the same in every way. Well, how can we tell if two triangles are the same? No, it's not because they both have three sides. When two triangles are congruent, it means that all angles are the same and all sides are the same in both triangles. In congruence, there's a lot of different language. Congruence is a part of geometry and geometry is full of language that you may or may not be familiar with. There are several words that are used often in congruence that you need to know the meaning of before you can begin to understand what congruence is. Other terminology that you might hear includes rotation. Rotation is where something is spun around. If you think about a rotating tire, it spins around and around. A triangle can be rotated clockwise or counterclockwise and still be the same shape and size. Reflection is where something is mirrored, like when you look in the mirror and you see yourself opposite to what you actually are. A triangle can be flipped over or shown as a mirror image and it's still exactly the same shape. Another word often used in congruence is translation. Translation means that something has been slid across or moved. Triangles that have simply been moved are still congruent. Two other words that you probably already know that are crucial to understanding congruence are side and angle. Sides are always labelled in congruence. This one here is labelled AB because it is between corner A and corner B. And this is angle C because it is the angle that is at corner C. Why should you care? Well, congruence is often used in building and construction to ensure that a structure, for example, our beautiful harbour bridge, is strong and stable. If the triangles inside the bridge were not congruent, the bridge is very likely to become weak and bend in strong winds or under large weights, which obviously becomes a bit of a safety hazard. So anyways, we need to learn how to write proofs for congruent triangles, which is basically your written reasoning for why you can see that two triangles are the same. You need to know how to do this because you won't always be able to pop up one on top of the other and say, see, they're the same. Let's have a look at these coins for a second. Do you think they're congruent? Are they exactly the same in every way? These coins are both round, but does that make them the same? No. These coins are both gold, and they're still not the same. And these coins both have the number one on them, but they're still not the same coin. So we can see that we need to have more than one thing in common in order for these coins to be the same. In fact, we might even say that we need to have several things the same in order for them to be congruent. In a moment, you'll have to pause the video to see if you can brainstorm four ways to tell if two triangles are the same. But first, here are two hints. Use the word side and the word angle. And time to brainstorm. See if you can come up with four different ways to tell two triangles are the same or congruent. Press pause now. All right, now that you've taken some time to brainstorm, let's see if you've come up with the same thing as what the math gods have come up with. One way we can tell if two triangles are the same is if they have two sides the same and an angle between those two sides the same. It's really important that the angle is in between the two sides for this proof. This is called the side angle side proof of congruence. Or in shorthand, remember us mathematicians are very lazy, is called SAS. Let's check out the second way to prove congruence. We know two triangles are the same if they have all three sides the same. This is called side 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 or SSS. The third way we can tell if two triangles are the same is if they have two angles the same 
and the side between the two angles the same. This way is called angle side angle. And in shorthand, that's ASA. The last proof that we need to talk about is only for right angle triangles. To prove that these triangles are the same, we need to have a right angle on both. The hypotenuse needs to be the same on both. Remember, the hypotenuse is the opposite side to the right angle. And one other side also needs to be the same. This proof is called right hypotenuse side, or in shorthand, RHS. So that is how we tell two triangles are congruent. Here is a quick summary. You have side angle side, SAS, or SAS, where there are two sides and the included angle are the same. There is SSS, or side side side, or SS, which is the same, where all three sides are the same in both triangles. Another way to tell that two triangles are the same is that they have two angles and the included side are the same. So angle side angle. The last way to tell if two triangles are the same is by them having a right angle, a hypotenuse, and one other side the same. This is called RHS for short. Make sure you document these down somewhere to keep. You will need them later. So pause the video and write them down. All right. Along with the math gods coming up with ways to prove triangles are congruent, they have come up with special ways to write about it as well. It is very important that you set out your work properly with proofs, otherwise they will not be right. This is unlike other math where you can just write the answer. You have to write the proof. The proof is the answer. Let's have a look at an example of that. Here we have two triangles. Let's try and prove that they're the same. Can you see that they are the same? Well, yes, you can because we can see that the line AC is the same as DF. They're both five centimeters. You can also see that the line AB is equal to EF. They are both six centimeters. And finally, we can also see that this angle in here, angle A, is the same as angle F. They're both 30 degrees. Oh, and by the way, this symbol here is a shorthand ray to write angle. And therefore, we can see that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. These three lines here mean congruent, just so you're aware. You may want to write this stuff down with the pictures of the triangles. It might help you later. Pause the video if you need more time. If not, keep watching. Here is one more example. What proof do you think we'll need to use to show that these two triangles are the same? But first, remember these little lines here mean that the length of the two lines are the same. AB is the same as DE. So with that in mind, let's see if we can prove that these two triangles are the same. We can see that AB is the same length as DE. Not by looking at the lengths and seeing them with our eyes, but by looking at the little symbols used to show us that those lengths are the same. We can also see that BC is the same as EF, and finally, that CA is the same as FD. You can see that these triangles are congruent because all of the sides are the same. So we have proved the congruence using side, 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 or SSS. It probably wouldn't hurt you to write this one down as well. Oh, you want to know why angle, angle, angle doesn't work? I'll take that as a yes. Well, if we look at this triangle here, we can see that this angle here is 40 degrees, this one here is 75 degrees, and this one here is 65 degrees. And we can see this triangle here, this angle's 75, this one's 40, and this one's 65. They both have the same interior angles, but are they exactly the same? 
No, they're not the same. You're right. They are very similar, but they're not the same. This is obvious because we can clearly see that one triangle is physically bigger than the other, and therefore the side lengths would not be the same. We can see that this side here is certainly not the same length as this side here. So we know that these two triangles are not congruent. One last thing before you go. In our next lesson, we will have a quiz on this stuff. So make sure you watch this video again if you need to, and make sure you write down any questions you have. P.S. You'll be allowed to take your notes into the quiz, so they better be good.